Hi, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel with me, your girl, No Fuses. So we met the princess and we had ourselves a nice little movie episode, because that's all that was last time. And now we're about to go and see how many terrorists we can beat up, because you know we're about to encounter them. We just, we're just that lucky, you know? So without further ado, let's get into it. And if you guys enjoy this series, this video, then Please do not hesitate to hit that like and subscribe button for more. Um, I don't think there's anything upstairs for us, so let's just go. Oh yeah, they're just posted right there. Let's see if I can like restock maybe. Okay, so I couldn't get much because I'm broke as hell. I don't think this place is giving me much I'm trying to like get more money. Oh no, they did it through the dungeon and all that. Hmm. What's wrong, Milton? Oh hi, Elliot. There's a pretty interesting rumor flowing around the moon about someone just vanishing all of a sudden. Did you say vanishing? Do you know any more details? Oh, call your interest, I see. I don't know. This is some good stuff. I might even be too juicy to share. Speak up. Oh, we'll force it out of you. Right, okay, I get it. Dang, you two are scary. So yeah, like I said, someone from one of the apartments around here just straight up vanished. The care teacher came by to check on them this morning and found the room as empty as no one's ever lived there. The only thing left in there is the key to the room. That's quite the curious situation. Yeah, especially since it disappeared without even telling anyone. I've never heard of anyone leaving town during the certain festival either. Maybe they had a reason they had to move out so quickly. Do you think this might be related to the terrorists in some way? Hmm, sounds like kind of a stretch. Whoa there, you guys seem like you got some good material. What's this about terrorists? Come and come fill me in. D don't worry, it's something important. There does seem to be some stuff behind this rumor though. Agreed, I think we'll do well to keep the story in mind. That's all there is to investigate on Alto Street. We should move on to another part of the city. So yes, that may be one of the uh, the comrades from last night. They just stayed there until they were told to leave. Um, you just said go to another part of the city. Okay. D is it in my like notes or something? Oh no. We're already on Alta Street, right? Yeah, we're already there, so free to go to wherever we want to go. Let's go here. Oh wait, can we not go forward? Those damn Imperial Guardsmen are so full of themselves. They keep getting worse every year. Can I go through? Nah. So this area appears to be appropriately well guarded. The soldiers patrolling the park appear to be Heimdall's military police. It looks like the Imperial Guard from the Valmfar Palace is in charge of security from the Crystal Garden itself, though. I imagine security is going to be airtight considering the guard party is going to be held there. Yes, especially with Princess Alfred in attendance, so security is probably standing when it comes to members of the Imperial family. Hmm, I thought I saw something familiar. Oh, why are you here? Hey, isn't that... Oh, it's Patrick, you're here too. Hmm, but, but of course, I did receive a personal invitation to the garden after all. Well, we received a personal invitation from the princess herself, so you can suck it. I see you're all tied up with your field studies or whatever you call them, even on such a fine day. You poor souls. Here, you really just get under my skin. I forgot gotten used to it already. Hmm, are you alone today? I was under the impression that your butler, Elliston, always attends to you. I don't see him today. Hmm, it's true he's often at my side, but I spend plenty of time on my own as well. Don't take me for one of those useless nobles who can hardly lace his boot without his butler's help. I always got the impression his butler was there more to keep an eye on him. Did you say something? Me? Of course not! 
well, I wouldn't want to get in your way. I'm sure you have you running all kinds of meal errands. Meanwhile, I intend to introduce myself to Princess Alfin. Try not to be too jealous now. <laughs> now if you excuse me. I can't say I'm all that just considering all that time we spent talking to her yesterday. She even invited Reen to be her dance partner. You know, after seeing that, I can't even bring myself to be irritated by him anymore. Well, the security in this area seems perfect, so it should be relatively safe from terrorists. Yeah, I think it's time to move to another area. Are you sure it's perfect? Hmm? Is something bothering you? I feel like we're forgetting something. Hmm? Now that you mention it. Oh, well, maybe you'll come back to us later. Oh, no. This is gonna bite me in the ass later. The fact that I don't know something and she spotted it, it's just like, yeah, you to this area later. Let's see, we're just there. We're here. Let's go to the port. Anything here suspicious? Y'all were having a nice little meeting here last night. Any evidence of this meeting anywhere? Why do you look like you're sweating? Oh man, how did so many crates get piled up? Safety first, the rule around here. Nothing goes comes from rushing. So it's piled up too much? Hmm. What in Isaac's name are we supposed to do now? You're telling me? Young folks these days can't count on any of them. Is there some kind of problem here? Oh, you're the students from yesterday. As a matter of fact, we do have a bit of a problem on our hands right now. What kind of problem? Well, it's nothing you need to worry about, but last night, a bunch of our young workers up and quit, just like that. Most of them hadn't been here for more than half a year, they just started really getting used to the work, too. Now, thanks to that, our schedule's been thrown all out of whack. Hmm, that is a... this is a significant problem. Is there anything we might be able to lend a hand with? Nah, this one's all on us. We should be able to fix our own problems after all. If they were gonna quit, they could have at least struck along long enough to train the replacements. I'll bet they got caught up in the festival hoopla and just decided to cut out of work altogether. Is it too much to ask for a few good hands who appreciate good work, good day's work? Something about this sounds kind of fishy. Yeah, the fact that a whole group of them just said I quit at the same time. Yeah, something's not right. I get I get that people would be excited about the storm festival, but enough to quit their jobs. The timing does seem suspicious. Yeah, let's keep this in the back of our minds for now. That's all there is to investigate here. Let's time to move on to other areas. Oh, oh, damn! You... What the? Okay, you're not giving me much of an option, are you? Is there? No. Show me the map. Right. My turn. I'll handle it. Go. There we go. Jeez. I don't think there's anything here, but the thing didn't give me a chance to teleport anywhere else. Oh, it does. Okay, that's my imagination. My bad. I was about to venture all throughout this waterway and just be like, what's here? What do I need to see? icon in here can't be my imagination now maybe I'm in the wrong store maybe oh wait no but I do need to stock up though uh, store information go oh, move out my way hmm what's wrong 
You sense something. Uh oh, he's acting suspicious. Um, did you notice something? I thought I was sensing someone suspicious. Do you think it was one of those terrorists? Hmm, we can typically depend on feast incidents at times like these. Might have been my imagination. Lots of people, people excited for the festival here could have been one of them. Either way, that's something we should know in a report. Like Laura said, your instincts tend to be accurate. Yeah, agreed. Anyway, I don't think we're done investigating the street yet. Let's get back to our patrol. Look, it, there's still an icon right here that says there's something amiss, but I didn't see anything. Is it you? Are you suspicious? Do I have to talk to everybody before I- Wait a minute! Oh my god, you've been seeing her this whole time! Jeez. Woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! roll! I was about to talk, and then he did it for me. I can almost taste that grand prize. Crow? Ah, hey guys! How's that field study coming along? Oh, it's going fine. But why are you here? Oh, you don't know? Classes don't run back at the Academy during the Summer Festival. So I came here to squeeze as much fun as possible out of this fortuitous bit of free time. Meaning? The Summer Races, of course. Wait, you came all the way here to bet money on horse racing? We're minors! We're not allowed to place bets! Shh! What they don't know won't hurt them, Machias. How about you shut your face? Okay? He's trying to hustle. <laughs> Do I look like a lawbreaker to you? Yes. There's a magazine that's running a prize contest for the summer races. You send in your predictions, and if you're spot on, you win a really fancy prize. So you came all the way to the capital just to check on that? It, it, emails and... I know you guys send letters to each other that, you know, they could've just sent you that, hey, you won, you predicted it right, you know? If only we all had such boundless energy. All right, time for some serious praying to the goddess. I'll leave the money here, okay? Thank you very much. Come back anytime. Anyway, I'm heading That's over just to the cathedral. Voice kind of sounds familiar. Songs. I can't place it. Peace. Uh, thanks. Come on, goddess. Let me win that prize. I mean, he's got quite a bit of luck, so I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't win it. If he did win it. That seems a rather pedestrian thing to pray for. So irresponsible. <laughs> that's cruel for you. Anyway, I think that's all there is to investigate on Banker Street. Time to move on to one of the other areas. I like how the game's taking to place to place so that I can restart, but the thing is, I'm so broke out my freaking mind, I can't even pay for anything. He said Sink Street. Oh, I, oh wait, no. I can. I probably have to actually go to the tram to go to St. Street. Or St. District, my bad. Where is it? Where's that stupid tram? There it is. Huh, okay. It won't let me. Uh, I guess that was a one-time thing. I've been here, I've been here, I've been here, and I've been here. So let's go to Drickles Plaza. Can we skip it? Oh, we can't skip it.
anything suspicious here? Let me get some gelato. Can I get some gelato? Yes? No? Thank you. people out than there were yesterday. They must have all come to see the Imperial Family's Parade. You won't let me pass. The pie sure looks festive today. The Imperial Family's Parade starts here, doesn't it? It's pretty nuts. Yeah, they even got special security bridges for the event. I've heard that the limousines they'll be using have high quality shielding to stop bullets and explosives too. I guess you can't be too careful with the members of the Imperial Family. I've heard about the skills of those in the Imperial Guard, too. Seeing, seeing them in person, it appears the stories were all true. They should be able to handle any crisis that may unfold here. Yeah, I think we can rest easy. That's all there is to investigate in Dracula's Plaza. There's more seed to see, so let's keep moving. Alright, so... I guess we'll go to Austin District. Anything to see here? Anything at all? Mr. Tittles? Wait. Oh, that's the kitty! Oh, you're adorable! And two, there's actually something up with it. Okay. And here's the entrance to the underground waterway. What would something like this be doing in a residential area? Especially with all the monsters in it. That's just Heimdall. They find entrance to the underground areas from time to time, but it's not much cause for concern. Everyone's smart enough to know that they shouldn't go near them. That puts me at ease. Nonetheless, everything seems to be in order here. Huh? What's wrong, Fee? Do you know something? Nothing. Chances are nobody's in there right now. Nice to know. Problem is, the footprints we left when we came out of here yesterday are gone. What? Problem is, the footsteps we left when we came out here yesterday are gone. And what does that mean? It's like the someone went in there yesterday after we all came out. Uh oh. Then they erased the entrance that would suggest they had erased our footprints in the process. That sounds about right. Are you concerned you're not overanalyzing this? Not completely. It doesn't hurt to keep in the back of our minds at the very least. That's all there is to investigate in Oz District. Time to move on to one of the other areas in the city. Yeah, because they move so freely through the waterways, it would make sense that someone else would too. He's like, how else would you sneak around the city? Go to the one place no one would go to. Ah, the high-end place, which... Nothing I can afford, and you can only look and wonder and fantasize to ever be that rich. We're about to meet the opera lady. Oh my, aren't you the military academy from the other day? Mm hmm. Oh, she's back! Yes, we are seeing her again. So, we meet again. Did you come all the way here just to see me? V Miss Clotilde. I, I didn't think we'd get another chance to meet you. Um, hello again. Actually, we're here as part of our field study again. We're doing a patrol of the city. Ah, oh, it's not a shame. But I'm glad to see you all working so hard. I see the two of you were able to make peace, too. I'm surprised. How could you know such a small change when you only met us two days ago? Oh, was I right? <laughs> I just had a feeling that might be the case. Call it a woman's intuition. Anyway, have you noticed any significant changes here since we last talked? Well, thanks to you all taking care of that beast, I've been able to truly relax during my stay. I've slept wonderfully these past couple days, but now that you mention it, I did notice a suspicious looking group of people near the hotel last night. You did? There were two of them talking in the back alley near here. Hats pulled tightly over their heads. When they noticed me trying to sneak a peek, they panicked and vanished in their night. I did overhear them talking about a plan of some kind. Uh, a plan? 
It does sound rather suspicious, although we don't know enough to say for certain. Yeah, it does sound like something we should keep in mind. Thank you for your help. <laughs> I'm happy to have been of service. Still, I'd love to stay here and talk for a while. But I'm afraid my schedule is a little booked at the moment. Are you busy doing something for the festival? Yes, I was invited by a member of the Imperial family to sing at the banquet being held at the palace tonight. I was actually on my way to rehearse for it. I see. I wish I could go and watch, but I doubt there's any chance of that. Obviously. Well, well good luck. We wish you the best. Same to you. Anyway, goodbye for now. Yeah, we're gonna see her again. Heh, <laughs> that's a pro for you. Even when you wish her luck, you're the one who's end up feeling encouraged. Indeed, she never ceases to surprise. Anyway, now that we've approached each of the areas assigned to us at least once, it's almost noon, so we might as well wait for Intrazer to contact us. So, is there nothing to do? Is what you are saying? Or are we about to get a cutscene? Cutscene, yep, called it. This is Class 7, Group A, Reading Schwarzer speaking. Hey, it's Sarah. Give me an update. Understood. Huh? She sounds way more serious than usual. Reading the results of the morning's patrol. I see. Something sounds awful, right? Though, judging by Fee's reaction, it doesn't sound like the terrorists are wandering the streets. We haven't seen anything that would lead us to believe so. I think there's something happening behind the scenes, though. She just can't be sure what it is. Keep sharpening that instinct of yours. It'll prove invaluable to you. It's almost time for the Imperial family's limousines to head off from Valflame Palace to their respective events. Crown Prince Sergeant will be going to Heimdall Cathedral in the Northwest. Prince Alf Princess Alfin is headed to Monster Park in the Northeast. And Prince Oliver will be going to Heimdall Racetrack in the Southwest. Prince Oliver has got an extremely capable bodyguard with him though, so I'm not as worried about him. I've tasked with people looking after the Crown Prince, so I'd like you to keep an eye on Princess Alfin. Of course! Of course! I mean, our luck is like imp impenetrable. Of course we'll get the princess. Probably the most likely one to get kidnapped. Just make sure she gets to the garden party safely. After that, you can resume your patrol. Understood, we'll head to Mar Park at once. Was that the instructor? New marching orders, huh? You guessed it. The limousine carrying Princess Alfred is about to leave Fountain Palace. Our mission is to make sure she gets to the garden party safely, right? We should get to Motor Park as soon as possible then. We can follow the main street. Alright, as soon as we're ready, let's head to Motor Park. After taking the tram to Motor Park from the tram stop, the main story will advance. Okay, so you're telling me to save is what you're telling me and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Then I guess, can I just teleport? No! No! Oh, I pressed the wrong button! No. Mater Park. I have to physically go on the tram. Oh my god. Why do you do this to me? We'll probably have to begin our patrol right away once we reach Mater Park. It'll be smart to make sure we sort out everything before we go. Trying to- Yes, I- I done everything I can with my empty wallet. Is- are these limousines leaving? Maybe? Yep. Everyone's like, oh my god! I can't see them do the tinted glass, but this is probably the as close as I'll ever get to royalty.
Oh, they're splitting off. <laughs> it's quite nice to be out and about like this once in a while. Though it would have been even nice if you'd gotten dolled up. Just think, we would look so adorable making our debut together at the garden party, wouldn't we? <sighs> I wish you'd think a little more before you see something like that. We may be friends, but I'm still just a baron's daughter. I can't very well go around equating my appearance at the party with that of the Imperial Princess, debut or otherwise. Oh, you're so old-fashioned, Elise. Both the national and local governments are headed by commoners now. Times have changed, or is it that you're still annoyed that I asked your brother to the dance? <laughs> Maybe I really should invite him to be my destiny next year. Your Highness, please, that's enough. Oh, come, come. I'm sorry, Elise. It seems there's still a ray of hope for you. After all, it doesn't look like he has a girlfriend at the moment. <laughs> still surrounded by that many lovely ladies, I doubt that will remain true for long. Uh, I don't. I, I suppose you're right. If Reen were to find someone, perhaps that would be for the best. But for him and for me. Aww. Elise. I'm sorry, just thinking out loud. But don't mind me. The people are all waiting for you to wave to them. Look at this freaking guy. He was about to come over and schmooze. And Patrick's about to be like, wait a minute. us now so Elise is here too looks like she came as the princess Alphonse attendant ah those two must be pretty tight the princess really looks the part though indeed the dressing of pure crimson suits her wonderfully damn I'm starting to feel Joseph Patrick after all all right looks like this air is under control Let's go grab something for lunch and do a nursing visit. <gasps> That's what it is. There is a hole in the security. The freaking, the the freaking patio, the pavilion, whatever you want to call it, the, uh, the little little shelter we came out of during the part. It's a big hole. If nobody's guarding that part, someone could just go underground, come out there, and then just make a dash for the freaking garden building. That's what Fee was talking about. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, that's why she said, "Are you sure it's perfect?" Okay. I'd be totally okay if nothing else already happened today. Something will. Because we're just that lucky. Really? You guys got lunch? After they had a quick lunch at one of the stalls in Gardner District. After they finished up, they decided to do another sweep of their assigned areas.
I thought you guys were told to stay at Matter Park, though. Like, why are you doing another sweep, though? But no matter how hard they searched, nothing seemed to miss. Finally, Group A made their way towards Dreckles Plaza, where traffic had previously been restricted. Same day. How about you go underground? How about we go there? I bet you'll find something amiss down there. 2.40 p.m. I imagine most of the ceremonies around the capital are finishing up about now. Though Princess Alfin and the others won't be back, won't be coming back until later this evening, right? Yeah, the ceremony itself ends soon, but the social event afterward that lasts until this evening. It seems like this is likely the time that many will begin to let their guard down then. Uh-huh. Perfect time for chance to make their move. I really hope we're just overthinking this. So do I. But at the very least, we need to remain vigilant until the day is over. Right. Okay, the traffic restrictions have been lifted now, so let's walk around the plaza. I just walk around and look for stuff. What if I go up here? Nothing? Alright. Aha! Wait, what are you doing here? What are you both doing here? Toa, Angelica. To oh, I didn't expect to meet all of you here. Well, isn't this a coincidence? President Herschel? We certainly weren't expecting to encounter the two of you out here. <laughs> Looks like the goddess herself brought us together. And now that she's granted us this chance, what do you two say we... No! I'm afraid we'll have to decline. We have our field study to attend to. What she said. Lame. Will she ever learn? <laughs> no. <laughs> Looks like those rumors about her were true. Did you ride your orbital bike all the way here? Yeah, you can make it from Trista to here in 40 minutes on a good day. So I plopped Toa on the back of the seat and off we went. <gasps> it almost seems like a metallic horse. That's pretty much what That's it is. Cool. She's not the most careful driver, so it wasn't exactly what I'd call a leisure cruise. Translation, we died several times. I had two heart attacks and need to go to the hospital and then the spa after. I really love the festival atmosphere, though. I just wish I could enjoy it without the threat of a terrorist attack hanging over us. Ah, oh, that's why they're all there. They all know about it. Wait, how do you know about that? Did Instructor Sarah tell you? Yep, I've been helping out a little with your field studies, too. Yesterday, I was the one who passed on the governor's request to Instructor Sarah, for example. I got pretty worried when I heard about terrorists, so Angie and I decided to see what was happening. I see. It appears you've done much for us without us even realizing it. Thanks. <laughs> it's nothing, really. I'm not doing any of the heavy lifting. Oh? I thought you were helping with all the paperwork and travel arrangements so everything runs smoothly. And that you're the liaison for our contacts in every region because Instructor Sarah keeps slacking off. Ah, so that's why everything is running so smoothly. I'm over here thinking that maybe Instructor Sarah is secretly responsible, but apparently she's just as lazy as we've all suspected and loved, and that is the loving characteristic that we love about our beloved Instructor. Okay, so Angelica's be doing all the work. S seriously? I swear, just when I'd started thinking she was better than we were giving her credit for. Yeah, that's a little much, even for her. It, it's fine, really. I'm sure she's got lots of stuff on her plate. Anyway, I heard you guys got to meet the princess. I'm so jealous. I wish I could have met her too. <laughs> we could hardly believe we met her ourselves. She really does look kind of angelic. Oh, if I'd only shown up earlier and tagged along with you. <laughs> Princess Alvin's beauty is definitely one of our national treasures. But your sister's quite the looker herself. 
I hope I get a chance to meet Elise again someday, too. Actually, she's attending the garden party as Princess Alphen's attendant right now. Really? Oh, if only I could get Princess Alphen, Elise, and Fee together in the same place. My god. We could call them the Fabulous Fifteens. Really? Oh my god. Stop. Don't look now, but I think you're being co-opted into some sketchy sounding group. Sounds good to me. Ugh. If I'd known this was gonna happen, I would have listened to my father and attended that party after all. But no, no, I couldn't have. I couldn't spoil my charms by wearing a dress. Oh! Oh! I could have worn a tuxedo instead! Why didn't I think of that earlier? Uh, Angie? Maybe you're putting a little too much thought into this. Hmm. Hey, hey, the gang's all here. Crow? Yup. Did you win the race? Did you get the grand Crow? prize? Oh, we didn't know you were here either. Fancy running into you. <laughs> yeah. You said you were going to the summer races, didn't you? How'd the main race go? Uh, oh, he didn't win. Don't ask. Who could have guessed that Black Prince would come from behind in a burst of speed like that? And then Lumber Blitz barely squeezing past into second. There's no way anyone could ever see an upset like that coming. Oh, I guess I won with those four to five odds. Ah, so Glad she I won it. I decided to pony up some cash for that after all. Wait, you're the one who won the special prize? Oh, stop feeling up lady luck, would you? You're just sore because I've got better karma than you. <laughs> Angie really does have scarily good luck with stuff like this. Sounds like the bell's chiming three o'clock. I guess that means all the ceremonies must be wrapping up. Perhaps we should make another round of our patrol areas, just to be safe. That seems like a sound idea. Yeah, we should get back to our or, patrols. Or... It was good to see you, everyone. Or... We could go underground and see what's going under there. We've checked all of our areas twice. Even if you check them thrice, I highly doubt they'll be out in the freaking open. Go underground. Okay. Take care out there. Huh? Back to work already? I've got my Arcus with me, so just give me a ring if anything happens. Will do. Well, what's happening? Huh? Oh shit. No, that is not a good sign. We see soldiers just running towards the general area. Something's <laughs> happened. Huh? What's wrong? It feels almost as though... Hmm. My guess would be there's been an increase in the water pressure. Uh-oh. They're... Fl Are they flooding it? Yeah. This must be... <sighs> Is this... Is it some kind of festival attraction? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, they're blowing up the waterway. They're causing havoc down there. <gasps> this must be the terrorists. Here we go. Who are we about to face off with? Yeah, it seems that way. You were too calm for this. The earth is shaking. Angie, Crow, give me a hand. We need to evacuate everyone. The military police have their hands full. We need to handle this ourselves. Right. Gotcha. Okay, let's all... No, we've got this. You have something else you need to take care of. Something important. Yes, you left your area where the princess at where you, you were assigned. You dingbats. More important than this? The one thing Instructor Sarah told you to do. Go to Mayor Park and stick near the princess. Literally, she just told us that five minutes ago. What do you mean? <gasps> Modern Park. So this is just a diversion? I bet on it. Oh, jeez. 
I, I see what they did. By flooding the waterway, they pushed all the monsters out, and they all eventually probably found the entrances. And since one of the entrances is near the freaking matter park, near the garden party, they just they got ambushed from the side without realizing it. They just came out of nowhere. Sandro Crown men, honor, honor as Imperial Guardsmen. We must not allow them any close to the garden party. Yes, sir. <laughs> They're like, run for your lives! What should we do? They will they need help. But we can't just abandon our post at a town like this. We need to come to the RMP. This is awful. You must be. You're the military carrying students working with the railway military police, right? Those look just like the creatures we found in under the passageway yesterday. What are they doing running around the surface? There are quite a few, but the soldiers should be able to keep them at bay. It won't be easy, though. What was that? It came from within the Crystal Garden. Are those attending the bomb party in danger? It was an explosion. It sounded more like something collapsed. This isn't looking good. Green. Yeah, I know. Alright, a new plan. We need to get to the Crystal Garden ASAP and figure out what's going on in there. You guys focus on securing this area and requesting new points from the railway military police. Right. I will speak with you. Don't let anything happen to her highness. And I bet her highness is gone. Oh, damn. Um, hopefully nobody fell in that, because they probably won't be breathing. What? Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> Good day, Your Excellency. I do hope you'll forgive me for showing up to this party without an invitation. Ugh. You. Truth be told, I have no real qualms with you personally. However, you are a willing collaborator with the man we loathe. So I'm afraid that makes you guilty by association. I figured that's what you were after. Let those girls go. They have nothing to do with this. Your Excellency! <gasps> She's like, just accept my fate as the damsel in the stress. She's like, nothing I'm gonna say is gonna make the situation better. <laughs> I'm afraid we just can't do that. After all, they've yet to play their biggest part. That of your faction's most shameful thing. Oh, but fear not. I have no intention of taking their lives. She's like glaring, she's like, you lucky, you lucky I'm tied up. Police. Reed? Reed? What are you doing here? You made it. Dad, are you alright? The brats from Thor's. So you've come to meddle in our affairs again, have you? Not this time, I'm afraid. Is he controlling those beasts? So that's how those monsters came to be running around out here. <laughs> They're like, come on, go. Elise, your highness, you. <laughs> my, my, I can certainly tell when I'm not wanted. I suppose we we'll just have to leave them. Go, my beasts. Strip them to the bow. I mean, we took down one of your brothers no, down there. I'm pretty sure I can take y'all out. But there's two of them. Whew. Two large monsters. 
combat pattern analysis complete. All right, let's take them down. Fight. Okay. Oh, let's get this over with. I'll handle it.
My turn. Shatter! Off guard. Broken. Here we go. Let's do this! I'm in for me! Oh no, you don't! Oh, it's that. Okay. Here! No way! Leave it to me! How about this? Disactivate. My turn. Target lock. Now. An opening. There! 
Yes! Yes! Thank you! Ah, that battle was beautiful! You guys did awesome! Well, everyone gonna level up? Everyone's gonna level up? Yes, yes, yes! Just keep, just keep going, just keep going. Yep, just, just keep going, you know? Ah. Only just begun. Done. Everyone loves <laughs> it. it. You didn't even do anything, but okay, I'll take it. <sighs> we must pursue them at once. There's no time to rest. Dad, you're bleeding. This little scratch? Nothing to worry about. But never mind me. Her highness is in danger. Please go after her. All right. Wait! Take me with you, too! Patrick? No. I need you to stay and protect everyone who's still here. Those monsters are still roaming around outside, and the governor is wounded. But... Please, if you're here, at least I can go knowing my father is in safe hands. <sighs> fine, fine, I'll stay. 
That's settled then. Let us give chase then. Your Excellency, please let the railway military police know what's happening as soon as you can. You can count on it. Oh, we're down here now. Uh, please tell me you're gonna give me a tower to rest or something. Please? Is this one the passes beneath the city? Looks like it. I'm triggered by direction it leads. I don't think it's in the area we've been to before. I don't sense any traps. Hello, Resources speaking. It's me, Sarah. The government told me about what's happening. Give me a full update on the situation. Our targets are Guinea and two other armed terrorists. They've abducted Princess Elephant and Elise, and we're, bleh, we're pursuing them through the underground tunnel as we speak. We're doing all we can to catch up with them. Understood. I'm making my way through as fast as I can. I've got the RMP in tow. Keep up your pursuit. Try to stall them until we get there if you can. But don't do anything that would put the hostages in danger. Their safety is our top priority. Got it. All right, let's hurry. Right, we won't let them get away. We'll be arriving in 10 minutes. Until then, all we can do is hope that they pursue the terrorists on, on their own. I hate to admit it, but I doubt there's anything else we can do right now. I'm glad to see the RMP is living up to their sterile repetition, though. It sounds like you guys handled the attacks at the racetrack in the Cathedral like season pros. Well, none of the Imperial Guardsmen were stationed in those areas, and we did receive invaluable assistance from Group A. I mean, Group B. You could just accept the compliment when it's given to you, you know. So how much of an idea did you have that Terrence's real target was going to be the garden party? I bet you had more than just a hunch. But that orbital calculator you got for a brain, bright Miss Icy Maiden. I missed you the chance to add roughly 40%. Targeting the garden party would make the biggest spectacle after all. I believe their aim is to harm the reformer's public image, which means her highness should be safe. Unfortunately, I can't be so certain about the girl with her. Hmm. And that's why we'll be able, and that's why we'll probably never see eye to eye. Okay. <clears throat> Those damn terrorists! Elise, Princess Alvin, please be safe. Can I get some type of tower? Monsters! Really? No problem. We'll just cut our way through. Yeah. Go, 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 oh, damn. Bring it on. You fly fast as hell. Go. Oh, no. My turn. Holy song. Your flies all in. Okay, uh, we have that. On the beat, uh, yeah, let's do this. Keep it up, everyone. Right. What do they think we could get? Oh, water. Water's the golden ticket here. I'll Oh, 
missed. Ah, damn it. Oh my god. and poison. Didn't do anything. My turn. You missed. Here How do you miss? We'll cut our own path. Literally overkill. Right. All right, level it up again. Level it up again. He's in here. Nope. Please, no more monsters. Please. At least give me a tower so I can heal. Oh, you guys are pieces of shit. So let's get it. What? Where are we? This was the detective music. Oh, look, there's the tower. The catacombs. It's really creepy. I had no idea a place like this existed beneath the capital. It appears to be a catacomb built during the Dark Ages. Well, they definitely came this way, and I don't think it was that long ago. All oh, right, you can tell from their footprints. Okay, then we'll just have to keep going this way. Follow me. Right. Ready to go. Onward. Oh, they're carrying him. <laughs> Everything's received just as I planned. They're both just glaring at this man, just like, you're so lucky we're tied up. Wait till our big brothers hear about this. Your ass is done. <laughs> if we can make it out of these tunnels, we'll have achieved all set to accomplish here. All right, not bad for our first mission. What are you people planning? Just what do you hope to accomplish by abducting us? It doesn't appear that you're interested in trying to ransom me back to my father for money. I ask that you remain patient for just a short while, your highness. We are but humble patriots who respect and honor the traditions and values of our country. We would never do anything to bring harm to one of the bloodlines that symbolizes that very nation. You sound just like... Haha, <laughs> don't misunderstand me. We feel no sense of brotherhood with the Oscar Seed. And vast majority among us are of common birth, myself included. However, there is a certain man among you whom I'm afraid we simply can't allow to remain alive. Who do you mean? And that's what you want? Then let her highness go. If you need a hostage you can, you can injure, I shall be enough. Uh, at least. Oh, what is your name, little one? Serving as her highness's attendant, I assume you must be of high social standing, no? Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Terra Schwarzer, Lord of the Northern Region of Hyrule. I may not be a particularly high rank, but I am still of noble birth. If you need hostage, use me instead. Elise! 
Aha, uh -huh. well, aren't you a fascinating young lady? We seem to have picked up quite the unspeakable gambit. Now, how should we use it? Oh, Church, I almost missed it too. I don't know what that. What does that do? Hold on, let me check. What is it? I've never gotten that before. What is this? 10,000 HP and cures. Hell yeah! I want that. Bring that to me. I need more of those in my life. I need, I need 99 of them too. I can't get 100 or more because the game won't allow you. Neither does any RPG. Oh my god. Really? 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 Right in front of the healing tower. You sons of bitches. Let's do this! Yeah, that understood. My turn. My turn. <laughs> Was it strong enough? Okay. Spider 
right, that's one down, one more to go. I was careless. My turn. I need to use an item. Go. There. Okay, controller, I got this. Don't worry about it. There. My turn. Go. Do I have anything stronger? Let's go. There we go. Go. Come on, you just gotta get one more good hit. Just one more good hit, and it's over. Let's do this. Aw, oh, you bastard. Did not do anything? Here we go. Did it not do crap? There we go! Yes! That's all I needed! Thank you! Jeez! That's the power of the eight leaves. Vengeance! Oh yeah, we got some goddamn vengeance. Oh my god. I need to heal everybody. Thank you, you all deserve that level up. <sighs> that, that was scary. There seemed to be some strange force at work making things difficult for us during the fight. The way they appeared was weird too. It's like they were waiting to ambush us. Perhaps it was due to that man Gideon's power, or rather that flute he holds. Yeah, that flute seems to give off some potent vibes. I've heard that some powerful relics from antiquity are still around. One of that's one of those artifacts. Well, we're going to have to deal with it one way or another. Heal, please, because that was such a bitch move. You waited, y'all waited, until I was literally arm's length away from the tower to ambush me with more monsters. Like I didn't have enough to deal with. Now did everyone get healed? Did he get healed? Yes he did, all right. But everyone's just low on CP because nobody's got crap. And heal again, so that way she's at full health. Alright guys, you guys, you know how I said a little time ago that, um, that I was gonna go through this whole situation one go? Well, it looks like I fly to you all. I am sorry. Sorry, not sorry, because that last battle took so long that I was just like, nah, nah. <laughs> I know you guys love the longer episodes, but this, mm. this is getting even too long for even me, so... I'm going to have to stop right here. The next episode, we'll save our sister and the princess. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. See you later.